Hi friends, today I will teach you regarding the benign mixed tumor that is pleomorphic adenoma of the salivary glands. Uh, this tumor is one of the most common salivary glands tumor and you have to remember that almost uh, many cases are seen in the parotid. So the common site is parotid superficial lobe particularly. So parotid gland commonly affected. Now we have received the growth in the parotid gland in this way. Uh, you can able to see the circumscribed whitish growth. This is the white growth, right? And you can able to appreciate that uh, uh, there is a presence of one glistening area. This area is very glistening. So why it is so? This is a glistening area in the pleomorphic adenoma seen due to the cartilaginous metaplasia. Now let's see microscopically. This is the capsulated tumor. You can able to see the well-defined capsule uh, this is the capsule right and there is a no invasion of the capsule by tumor cells so that is the main feature capsular invasion is not seen and you can able to uh, make out that there are presence of many cysts uh, this cyst is filled with secretions so it can be seen now you have to remember the three important features for the diagnosis of uh, pleomorphic adenoma to make the diagnosis, obviously, as the heading is suggested, it's a benign mixed tumor. So epithelial cells and myoepithelial cells both are seen. And the stroma will be chondromixoid stroma. And now you already know that uh, epithelial cells are usually present in the inner layer of the any glands, tubules or cyst. While the myoepithelial cell form the outer layer of such uh, tubules gland or it can be present in the stroma. You have to remember one important point that myoepithelial cells can be clear, can be spindle sap, can be epithelioid, can be plasma cytoid. So these are the various shape and architecture of myoepithelial cells. And now what can you see in this figure? You can able to see the spindle sap myoepithelial cell. These are the myoepithelial cells, spindle sap, right? And another important feature is the presence of clear myoepithelial cells or so that is also present this is the clear myoepithelial cells so in our case the clear myoepithelial cell was present now remember one important point is uh, one important point that uh, these epithelial cells can be metaplastic metaplastic it can show the squamous or mucinous metaplasia so this was the figure showing the squamous metaplasia uh, this is the squamous metaplastic focus. So squamous metaplasia is very common. This was another field. You can able to make out the chondromixoid substance. The cartilage was present. So all these are the cartilage. The chondromixoid substance can be seen. And now let's inspect the other folds. Uh, these are the other areas that was showing squamous metaplasia and there is presence of many glands these are the glands this is the glands showing inner layer lined by epithelial cells and this is obviously the normal salivary gland uh, this is the normal salivary glands so this is this was the very classical case of classical benign mixed tumor uh, that is pleomorphic adenoma it is diagnosed based on three features. Again, I am saying that uh, one is chondromixoid substance that is seen in this figure. The another one was squamous metaplasia. Uh, there is presence of myoepithelial cells, spindle saps or clear myoepithelial cell, and there is a presence of epithelial cells. The epithelial cells also seen. So these three are the important diagnostic feature. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making the diagnosis of the pleomorphic adenoma. If you like my video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I am posting the new video. Thank you very much.